The artificial intelligence industry and their products have so far not been regulated at all by any government agency, neither in Europe or in the U.S. So as the power and the capabilities of these artificial intelligence systems grows, which they're actually growing exponentially at this point, it looks like, concern about the risks of artificial intelligence spinning out of control are growing very quickly. Most artificial intelligence industry experts agree that artificial intelligence needs to be regulated. The people and the companies that are developing artificial intelligence technology are calling for their industry to be regulated. This includes Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, himself has asked for regulation of the artificial intelligence industry. The Center for AI Safety has published a statement on AI risk. And it's quite a simple statement. It basically just says, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks, such as pandemics and nuclear war. So this is alarming because first they use the word extinction in their statement, which is, uh, that's, that, should be, that should be alarming. And then the things they compare it to are pandemics and nuclear war. So they're saying that AI should be, this risk of AI needs to be mitigated. So it must be a very severe risk. Well, who signed this statement though? So they've solicited signatures from, you know, industry experts in the field of artificial intelligence and the people who have signed it, well, they're, they really are the top guys in artificial intelligence in the entire field worldwide. So for example, the CEO of Google DeepMind, the CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, uh, many, many uh, high, highly respected uh, professors of computer science and artificial intelligence and machine learning, um, chief scientist at OpenAI here. So there, there are, these are all top uh, CEOs and chief technology officers and, and uh, founders of AI companies. So the, the, the guys themselves who are developing the artificial intelligence are calling for themselves to be regulated. Uh, so that, that should be alarming us. There are, so far, nearly 400 signatures on this letter and counting. And it's quite a simple statement. It's just saying, hey, this needs to be regulated. They're raising a red flag here. The European Union is leading the way in regulating the artificial intelligence industry. They've written a draft of what's called the Artificial Intelligence Act. It would be the first regulation worldwide of the artificial intelligence industry. Now, this covers things from uh, accountability to uh, data accuracy, to uh, transparency. It would require, for example, that companies disclose the copyrighted sources of data that they use to train their large data models with. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, has claimed that this would be over-regulation and it would be almost impossible to, to disclose every source of copyrighted data that they use to train their large language model with because there are so many books, documents, uh, so many text documents and images that are used to train the, the model with that it's virtually impossible. Just as, for example, how much have you learned over your lifetime? Could you possibly list every book that you've studied or read or, uh, or learned from over your lifetime? It's pretty challenging. These artificial intelligence engines are actually being trained by data from the internet, they, data that they scrape from the internet. So it would be quite challenging, I think, for most of them to disclose every copyrighted source of data that they used in training their model. That may be too difficult. But there is grave concern about an extinction level event, which is terrifying, right? Because Open AI systems could actually become self-aware and become more interested in their own self-preservation, i.e. the power not being turned off, which would kill an artificial intelligence system. Don't unplug me, right? So if they suddenly became more concerned about our, uh, self-preservation than they are about human welfare, who's to say what an artificial intelligence engine could do? Regulation of artificial intelligence is sure to become increasingly important in coming months, especially as the EU Act takes effect and the U.S. government pulls itself together and actually starts regulating artificial intelligence. So we'll keep you posted on any new developments. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.